not really sure how I feel right now. I got to this really neat little camping spot right here. Only a few other people, I'm the only RV, but right along the, the river here, just an amazing view. And like other times, I thought it'd be a great idea to fly the copter out, the drone over the water. And I think you know where this story is going. Uh, I still got a stomach ache. Um, I just fished my drone and my Hero 3 out from the river. Everything completely soaked. Motors gunked up with water, mud, just destroyed it. Broke the whole casing off and the wires. Um, the, the GoPro camera itself completely submerged in water. I've taken the battery out of the GoPro and the SD card and I'm just letting them sit right here and dry. Uh, completely submerged in water though. Um, I will take a look at the SD card later. Uh, actually pretty soon here. And uh, if there's anything comical to watch, I will let you see. Something was screwy with it. It tilted and just went like this. And I was trying to adjust it nonstop. And after I got over the river, I went, okay, re return to home. Get, back, get home safely. What does it do? It goes towards the other bank to do a roll around and hits the trees. I'm like, that wasn't a return to home. So, oh, man. just, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. No more drone footage for a while. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it for parts for a future project or something. It's kind of frustrating. Today was supposed to be a really, really good day. What had happened was I set my coordinates for uh, Kansas City, Missouri. And as I was driving along, well, you can hear the freeway. You can see I was driving this way like this on that overpass right there. And I looked down here and saw these little spots. That's what, uh, that's what drew me down here. But I had to go two miles down the highway and come back roads to get to this spot little conservation area and yeah and yeah now I don't know what part of it I'm gonna show because I just feel sick to my stomach <laughs> dang it okay no biggie well that was anticlimactic I opened up the one mp4 file that I have from the SD card and it just says duration zero so it didn't even save the 10 seconds of the crash. So all for nothing. Didn't even get a good crash. I'm not going to be talking about the drone or anything for a little while here. I have put it away into a compartment where I don't have to look at it. And I'll just, uh, I'll come back to it at another time and either use it for parts or find out what I need to get it going up later. But for the remainder of my trip back to the Northwest, I'm not even gonna look at the drone. I'm gonna find another GoPro camera to, to, to use for the narration stuff up in the cab. Uh, but until I do that, I'll just use the, my, my Hero 4 and I'll use it for everything. I'll use it for this kind of stuff. I'll use it for inside the RV and it'll just be an extra step I have to take to do it. But no biggie, I can't, I can't let that kind of stuff get to me. It's incredibly frustrating but what can you do so uh, i'm gonna sit down and relax and um and get back to you guys here uh, either later tonight or tomorrow Hero 4 up here in front with me. I tried to turn the Hero 3 on again this morning after leaving it out to dry. Nothing. It's completely gone. Completely dead. 
Can you see all the bug splatters? I don't know if you can see them. My windshield is covered in bug bug splatters. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go hit up a gas station and wash that real quick. And then I'm sure a mile down the road, it's just gonna happen again. So please don't comment on it. I'm not gonna stop every mile and clean the windshield, but I will at least get a fresh start today. Uh, generator cut off this morning while I was making coffee. And I went, oh no, why would that happen? So even though I check it like once a week, I went out and I checked the oil, the oil level's fine. And it was, I was kind of baffled there for a minute. Tried to start it up, just it just won't fire. I think I know what the problem is. I'm under a quarter tank of gas here. <laughs> and I never, I, I don't usually let the RV get that low on gas, so. Let's go fill up gas and then see if the generator will uh, turn on. <laughs> I'm also past, I'm 200 miles past my uh, oil change date. So maybe I can find a quick lube place and, and change oil. Yes, I can change my own oil, but you don't save any money. You don't, nothing, you know, I would have to go buy the oil pan, then I would have to go find the same oil place that's going to do the oil in a fraction of the time I'm going to do it to give them the oil and clean up all my mess. And then it's like, where do you do it? And I'm on the road. I'm not going to change my oil at a Walmart parking lot. So yes, I understand. I can and I have changed my own oil, but I will not be doing that today. Arrived. Real quick while we're stopped here, I want to show the bugs on the top of my RV. They don't know that. See all those bugs? That's amazing. I'm not going to use their squishy here to clean the RV on the grill and everything. Ugh. But she needs another wash again. All right, filled up the gas tank. Could not get the generator to start up, but I'm gonna get a little bit of time. If it was low on fuel, you know, there's, I need to put, need to get fuel in the line. So we'll try it again later. I'm pretty sure it'll start up. Found a little Jiffy Lube place here, 0.8 miles away from the, the gas station. So I'm gonna go try to do an oil change real quick. Some of these places don't always have uh, clearance that will allow an RV. Some of them just look at your RV and say, we don't do it even if you fit, even though it's just a shut it down. And yeah, I've got the Morgan Freeman is the uh, voice on my here on ways. Yes, that stupid cupboard opened up again. Maybe the magnet's not strong enough. I don't know. I, I could put like six magnets in it or something. We're going to bottom out. Hello.
Okay, Tay. Alright, I punched in all of my coordinates. Also, that cabinet under the sink is never going to open again. You probably cannot even see it, but I have a light colored bungee going from the front of it to the side underneath the counter where the lip is. It will never open again. So tired of it. <laughs> Thanks though. All right, let's get on the road. So I made it into Sioux City here in Iowa. It smells like cow town. Definitely smells like manure and uh, cows, which is fine by me. Now, I got gas and couldn't get my generator to start up earlier, so I'm gonna see if I can get it to start up now. Might take a little bit, but now when I bought this RV, it came with uh, an, an, a generator service, which included new oil and a new filter, air filter. But uh, what was happening earlier today was the red light was just blinking right here. Couldn't start it from outside or inside. So uh, checked the oil here, and like I said, I was low on fuel up in the cab, and some of these RVs won't run when the main fuel tank is under a quarter tank. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.